you guys clicked on this video, thank you so much for watching. I would appreciate if you would watch the entire video. It's a really dope video. If you like it, like, subscribe, and comment down below. So, thank you so much to Soundcore for sponsoring today's video. Eight hours traveling in Austria, grinding on this MacBook. Yeah, I hope the track is dry. Oh, I'm so pumped. Pleased to meet you. Hope you guess my name. Stuck around St. Petersburg when I saw it was a time for a change. Killed the Tsar and its ministers. Anastasia screamed in vain. The whole dramatic cinematic to not be able to drive a Formula 4 car. Like, it's fair to them because the, the freaking track is actually pretty wet. It's cold. It's on slick tires. It's, it's total danger. But we are going to be driving some Porsches. And you guys know me. How am I going to complain? So, yeah, I mean, how could I complain? You ready? Yeah, bro. You're not going to get uh, car sick, huh? No, I don't think so, bro. Wow. Editing that night was a bit rough. We had quite a lot going on. I had a lot of photo assets to airdrop to the Mac. Meanwhile, Jan was putting our iPhone camera setup video together until his MacBook sort of crashed. And then I tried to map out my mouse so I can edit faster and then look at this. My MacBook never crashed once though. And I worked in the airport, on the plane, in the car, at night, the first morning at the track, as soon as I had the chance, I kept putting some of last week's video together. Actually, I edited this whole intro and cinematic on my way back home in the plane. And let me say one thing, the battery life was great. Considering how much I was demanding from it, I worked non-stop from departure till about three hours and a half into the flight. The battery went from like 88% to 19%. Look, for the most part, the MacBooks during our trip were great. It was one heck of an experience and there's quite a lot I would love to share with you. There's quite a lot we experienced during our trip. And if you are thinking of getting one, here's how our days looked like while traveling with the new MacBook Pros. Let me just start off by saying that I truthfully think traveling with a 14 inch laptop with this much power is very much unbeatable. Like if you are the type of person that works anywhere and everywhere on the go, it's nuts. This new design that we've had for like three generations now has never failed on me. This is my third Apple Silicon MacBook Pro. It's an M3 Pro base model with 18 gigabytes of RAM and 516 gigabytes of storage. I'd like to say 516 gigabytes of storage is enough for my type of work, but honestly, it's not. The reason why I carry an SSD everywhere I go, for me, it's a laptop that's solid, it feels robust, I'm never scared of taking it places and throwing it anywhere, except for now. I'm not too sure how this happened, but 
my MacBook Pro got scratched badly. Makes me wonder how this black anodized chassis will age to be honest, like I've been pretty good to this laptop so the fact it scratched this badly kinda makes me want to just stick to silver models. Other than that, it's a laptop that perfectly fits in my backpack, doesn't take too much room and I can easily pack a bag with other stuff in it. A bit different from Jan's 16 inch M3 Max MacBook Pro, we brought the 16 inch with us as well. The thing is that, well, uh, that thing is a monster, especially when it comes to working on a plane. On trays, it can be difficult to fit. It's chunky and requires more room in a bag to travel with. A lot of these reasons are why we paid extra to have additional leg room and a bit more comfort for us to get some work done. I posted a picture of Jan last trip working on his 16 inch M2 Max and a lot of people related. I think for us, the most important thing is to have power without needing a charger brick while still providing portability everywhere we go. I like that I feel confident and I can just pack a 14 inch MacBook and go. The first day we knew exactly how this was going to roll out, we knew the purpose of the 14 inch off the bat and we knew what the 16 inch was going to do for us. With the M3 Pro, I always felt like I had enough power, it's a processor that for me it's able to put a good strong starting project together, I can sort assets, develop pictures easily, do admin work, check our projects workflows on the go, it's indeed that machine that has way more than enough power to take out and do stuff quickly. That's what the M3 Pro meant for us, especially after spending two and a half grand Canadian on it. In this situation, I never felt like investing the extra $2,000 for a 14 inch M3 Max was a must. I'm starting to feel like by having that much power, having the screen real estate that the 16 inch provides is much better. More room to work to get colors right, to do the heavy lifting and the complicated parts of any type of visual project. We are finally here. Eight hours traveling and two hours in a car. All of that to make it to Spielberg. I'm so tired. All of this to be at the Red Bull ring to take some shots. Totally worth it. That same day, which was now a morning for us, with no hours of sleep, we had to pretty much start shooting some of the shots for our iPhone camera settings video. Let me tell you something, I don't know where in the world I found motivation to shoot that. We both had zero energy, hungry AF, no sleep was done within our eight hour flight. It was rough. But at least the shots turned out great and we got some work done. We actually took an insane amount of shots and with all the stuff we had filmed up to then, for last Sunday's video, things needed to be edited at night. That's it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, pretty solid. And it's not bugging with the LUT on? No, no, it's not bugging at all actually. That's crazy. But sometimes I have to render it. Yeah. I see, I see. Like, I have to render it sometimes, and then it stops bugging. Yeah. But this is smooth. Smooth sailing. Like, I can, like, oh, no, oh, I screwed up. Oh, no, oh, oh no, no, oh, no, I'm at, I'm at. Oh, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, the 16 inch is a monster, especially when it comes to setting up a workspace and just building big projects. It's the laptop that puts our cinematics and the bulk of our projects together. It was also used to fully color grade the project because I mean, it has the bigger screen so it makes it easier. Let alone I find that the speakers on a 16 inch are significantly meatier compared to my 14 inch MacBook 
Pro, it's also the laptop that had a whole workflow going on. We brought a mouse, of course an SSD, and we just kept the laptop plugged in at all times. In contrast to the 14 inch, which is just a laptop that we had planned to bring to all the track events. Oh, and the beauty of the Apple ecosystem for us is that during this trip, I was able to airdrop all of the picture assets I kept taking to any of our MacBooks. Now, if by any chance you feel like the speakers on these aren't enough for your work to get done, in Vienna, when we were finalizing the big edit, we used the Motion X500 a lot. It's a pretty compact speaker that was easy to travel with. In our hotel room, this acted a bit like a mini home feeder system. It's able to more than easily fill a decent sized room with very loud and dynamic sound. Like, it's a speaker that's able to deliver spatial audio and a high fidelity music experience. It's elegant and premium in design with crafted metal, including the aluminum handle, making the whole speaker have this very nice seamless metal design. For us, this was a speaker that was perfect to bring around. Being a unit that has a 40 watt output with three amplifiers and three drivers, delivering 12 hours of playtime and a worry-free waterproof IPX7 design, couldn't make this more perfect for when it comes to working or listening to music on the go. Plus, with all the controls this has, including the spatial audio feature, genuinely just makes this a solid sound system to bring around. Don't forget, like always, Soundcore allows you to connect this through the app and allow you to adjust from up to 9 bands of EQ if you wish to have personalized sound. Look, I'll leave a link to the Motion X500 down below, make sure you check that out. Soundcore have been nothing but great to us, so thank you guys for sponsoring this video. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm so freaking tired. I think I slept like 3 hours the past like 36 48 hours and we're still editing whatever we took today for the camera settings video which is probably already out but i'm just grinding on this macbook him too he's grinding on that macbook i'm pretty happy i brought two macbooks because it makes our lives a lot easier jesus plus battery life has been pretty freaking solid very very solid and before calling it a night i think i'm gonna go over the script again make sure all the shots are ready for tomorrow because tomorrow we're going on the F1 track, so that's gonna be freaking nice. I'm that tired. Good morning, guys. Today is the day I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. It's like a little getaway. We couldn't turn around till we were upside down. I'll be the bad guy now. For no angel proud. I couldn't be there. Even when I tried, you don't believe it. Absolutely <laughs> insane. Yeah. Yeah, so this room here. Uh, oh, I have like the chills. We drew the same time. Seasons change and our love went cold. Feed the flag because we can't let go. Run away, but we're running in circles. Run away, run away. Bro, like, you, you don't imagine like how big yeah. the track is. Bro, the stadium, like, no, bro, the amount of seats, yeah, it's seeing crazy. it in real life, it's insane. That very morning our shooting didn't stop, we got some shots done in the morning for Sunday's video. I took the time to edit them and place them quickly on my timeline. We then packed and just headed straight to the track. Yeah, we got a whole tour of the Red Bull ring. It was such an amazing experience, like, we literally got to see everything. We also had some lunch right before heading onto the track. The view where the Red Bull Ring Hotel resides with its restaurant was insane. Like, 
I literally had no words. I had to whip out the MacBook while eating lunch there because we had a hectic shooting day ahead of us. I always use Notion to make sure I have our filming scenes aligned. Some of those included the 48 versus 24 megapixel scenes we did at lunch. And so we produced all of that as time passed by. We then headed to the driving experience center where we had to sign our lives away and got picked up by our instructor. This is crazy. Holy cow. Yeah, this is where we got the news that we weren't going to drive the Formula 4 cars, but hey, we got the chance to sit in them. If you guys can see because it's very sunny, this is absolutely crazy. Look at that. This is sort of what I see. Catch me if you can. Yeah, I saw all my friends send me videos. Smells like clutch. What's this one? Brush. Brush. What a day, what a day. That's crazy. It was actually so <laughs> crazy. Just being in a freaking ring. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing it in real life. Without you the get stadium. goosebumps, man. Dude. I, thought, I remember when we entered the, that the media. I was, like, I, oh, I was like, why am I getting yeah, goosebumps? Yeah, it was insane. So I just came back from the track. I'm so tired. Um, it turns out I was taking a few pictures like at the last minute when I was at the track and my phone said iPhone storage full. I almost had a mini heart attack. So uh, now what I'm doing is that I'm just transferring literally all of my photos into the SSD directly plugged in. It was crashing before, which was super annoying, but now I figured out a way to not make it crash. I'm just exporting it as unmodified files it exports right away it doesn't crash or anything like that so that's good because now i'm gonna export everything put it in the laptop to save it uh maybe just keep it in the ssd actually but i'm gonna start editing some footage and things like that i, I probably need some of the assets that are going to be there now but yeah anyways Metro! I tried downloading Logi Hub and then I tried to map out my mouse so I can edit faster and then look at this. Okay, get rid of it? No. I can't even go to the other ones. No, but uh, this is a nice racetrack. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> for uh, for the cars are very high. It's, yeah. it's, it's a hard uh, racetrack, not yeah. so easy. It's, uh, it's built in Austria with uh, Audi engine, two liter, 340 horsepower, no ABS, no power steering, no power brakes, uh, and no electric system inside the car. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm losing my head now to now will my bad memories One more drink she said We know there's no turning back now we love to make bad memories One more drink she said I think I'm losing my head now to now will make bad memories One more drink she said I think I'm losing my head
Uh, that was crazy. Honestly, shout out Red Bull Canada for the amazing freaking experience. This was unbelievably fun. Loved it. It's now time to finally go home. But first, Vienna. Hold me close me face. This magic spell you cast. This is Lavignon Rose. Yo, this city is absolutely beautiful. If any of you guys live in Vienna, holy cow, you guys are lucky because it's it's probably the nicest city I've been to in a very long time. Might be even my favorite city. This is freaking cool. Yeah, I mean, Vienna has its own charm. One hell of a city. On our way there, I got some work done in the car. I always have a little setup going on. AirPods Max on and iPhone hotspotting. All that to edit on Premiere. In Vienna, we still had some shots left to take, all related to last week's video. We usually try to shoot from location to location and import it into the computer right away to piece it together. In Vienna, that's all we did and what we had planned to do for the short amount of time we had there. Currently trying to find a proper place to take a thumbnail. The issue is that when you have too much, we have like too much, too much. It becomes harder, believe it or not. So uh, now we're just trying to pick angles and the sun's coming down. Yeah. Tilt the screen towards you. I think this might be it, boys. I think this might be a thumbnail. Is it good? Like, is the glare good? Yeah. There, perfectly. There. This is why I love just having a built-in SD card slot into the MacBook Pro. In two seconds, you can just import your footage to start editing it, all while having a minimal setup to carry around, no dongles needed. For us, really, the 14-inch MacBook was by far the laptop that got used the most. It's a convenient size just because it's easy to take out anywhere. The only fear of mine was really getting this scratched again. That was it for us. That night, we both worked a lot finalizing some edits. We packed, took our flight where I had a lot of work to do, including editing this very video and edit some of the assets that go into our production. So this is where I say goodbye to you guys. I'm gonna put the camera in the bag. We're gonna take a plane tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go eat, I'm dead tired. I'm still jet lagged and I have to go back home. So that's gonna be, uh, I hope it's easy for me to sleep back home. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this MacBook video. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Hold me close, me face. This magic spell you cast. This is Lavignon Roses. When you kiss me, I'm inside. And though I close my eyes, I see Lavignon Roses.